What's going on guys? Hunter with Team Redneck Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, bringing you our regional report. Uh, we are here with Mr. Tristan Skoglund. I did really bad. <laughs> we all did. Well, I did, I did better than everyone, but I did bad still. Nah, so. you, you just know. Alright, all right. so I went 4-4 uh, four and four with uh, ABC, uh, but this is a spicy tech version. But yeah, so I'll just tell you like my rounds. Round 1 played the mirror. Haven't played the mirror in like 3 months, so... I lost that. He just went off game one and three. In the game three, he just had that, so whatever. Uh, round two, I played... Uh, oh, I played uh, Satellers, and that was pretty fun, uh, but I won in three. Uh, round three, I played uh, Paleozoic. Uh, lost 2-0, because I haven't played that in a while. That was a fun game, though. Uh, round four, played Gear Gear, so, you know, got that W. Uh, round five, <laughs> played... Um, he played PK Paleo. It was pretty crazy. Just do Dante. He'd mill all the stuff. It was it was pretty good. Uh, then round six, I played Pure Yang Zing, I believe. Round seven, I played uh, 54 card uh, Metal Foe Yang Zing. And uh, nine pillars as a card, people. Like, that card is <laughs> low-key really good. So I won those two. And then uh, round eight, I played Cosmo Kaiju. I was not expecting that whatsoever. Uh and he, he mind you know, me. Even though, you know, you profiled it. Out all I did profile it, but, like, I didn't expect people to actually play it. And uh, so what he did was game one, I bricked. So I just uh, C, attach B, set two, whatever. He kaijus it. I'm like, what am I playing? And then he ghost reapers me for my busters. I'm like, oh, that's just great. So I lose. And then game two, it was just it was just bad. But yeah, so I went four and four. Um, so I mean, I did better than everyone else, so it's whatever. Let's get into the deck profile. So, to this list. All right. So you play the three A, three B, uh, two C. It's pretty standard. <laughs> uh, two gold, two silver, standard. Uh, I play three Galaxy Soldier. Um, the reason why I put this in because I like aggressive decks, and with Infinity, you can be really aggressive. You have a negate on board. And it can open up a lot of plays, so it was okay today. I summoned an Infinity a lot today, actually, so it was pretty nice. Uh, two Garnets. I'm playing the Brilliant version, too. <laughs> so this is Galaxy, Brilliant, ABC. It's just, it's really extra. Um, and testing, you know, is actually pretty good. Uh, there'd be times you just have, like, Infinity, Karagorgan, and uh, Buster on board. So, yeah, it was pretty decent. Uh, one Trick Clown, because you use it with uh, the Brilliant Engine. And one max C, because I'm so good. <laughs> why? Um, one all right. You need to explain all right. this. So the reason why I played one max C, right? <laughs> so with ABC, when you main deck two max Cs, you usually have one in hand, right? When you're going first. And when you souk, like, that's just losing a card. Like, it's just so bad. So, but you do need max C. Like, if you go second, like, I seven out of eight games, I lost the die roll. So like you need that maxi. Well, but like, like you only needed that one. No, like you, you, three just three draw games, every time. <laughs> three game ones. So three rounds, it did work. So like I'm not even mad. It was it was pretty good. Like it didn't hurt me, so it was fine. So we'll go to the spells now. Three hanger, three terraforming standard. You don't need to fucking talk about it. Uh, three brilliant, same standard. So you're on the two transmodify for the galaxy engine. Uh, a lot of the times, uh, I would beside out the second one. Just because, like, if you see it, like, it's good. But if you don't, it's not, like, the biggest deal. But, like, Brilliant Fusion, you need to see that, so you can't side that out. But, uh, yeah. The Transmodifiers are nice. You can take them out. Uh, two Desires. Uh, I used to play three, but a lot of the times, I would either draw one off of Desires, or I'd open two Desires in hand. And that's just really bad. And uh, I also borrowed one to Hunter. So, that <laughs> helped nice. the decision. But, yeah. Uh, two Twin Twister. Because it's Twin Twister. Uh, I used to play Cosmic Cyclone. But, I mean, I don't know. Twin Twister is good just because there's a lot more back row heavy decks. But I love Cosmic Cyclone. Uh, one upstart. This is a 41 card deck. So, we're running 40 cards now, boys. <laughs> and then that one that one max C, too. Like, really. Yeah. No, but upstart at one, actually. <laughs> like, it's going to sound really stupid. You guys are going to hate me. But, like, 41 cards with the upstart. If you're running Desires, it's not that big of a deal. Because, A, it's a free side out. B, if you banish it off Desires, like, it's just a free, just, like, you're just banishing 9 instead of 10. So, yeah. it's whatever. Uh, 2D Barriers, uh, thank you, Hunter, for letting me borrow these. These are, f this is the best trap in the game. Like, you, everyone needs to have this card because if you brick, but you have this, you literally stay alive. Because so many decks, like, like Paleozoic, they only XC. If you just call that, they end their turn. Like, ABC, you can call X, uh, usually XYZ is the best play. 
uh, with uh, Metal Flow, you just call Pendulum, like Yang Zing. I played that twice, and like that was like the most insane card. Uh, <laughs> two Solemn Strikes. I uh, used to run three, but because of the Brilliant and Galaxy Engine in there, you did have to cut off like some more traps. And uh, I think that's like my biggest regret today. I probably would have liked to have the third strike, um, but it was all right. And then uh, one Warning and one Vanities. Uh, Vanities wins games. Warning was pretty good, but uh, it was also a nice side out. Like, if I'm going second, like, I just side that out, and it's just pretty free. Yeah. So that's the main deck. 41 cards, like I said. Uh, I'm bad, but I'm good at the same time. <laughs> so off to the extra deck. Uh, three Buster, because it's Buster. I literally summoned this five times the whole day. It was... I don't know. I bricked a lot today. Like, I wouldn't suggest playing this, but if you want to have fun, I mean, it's... It is what it is. All right, so next up we have uh, it's Strath Knight, uh, that DT though, so sexy. Uh, so one Souk, one Castell, one Digusto, one Gear Gigant, one uh, Diamond Dyer, one Abyss Dweller, uh, Karagorgon, this card's really lit, um, Infinity combo, and Utopia Package. Uh, this is good against Cosmos, if it ever comes out. <laughs> this was, you need to know. He Ghost Reapered me, and this was my only out to get over... Uh, uh, freaking Dark Destroyer, so that's relevant. <laughs> Would you change it in the ratios in the extra? Like, maybe a second Dire Wolf or something? Um, or a I don't think. Di two Diamond Dire Wolves <clears throat> never come up for me just because you can go Abyss, or not Abyss, or uh, Castell, if anything. True. And uh, usually I love having uh, Diamond Dire and like Sukiyomi on the field because you use your Suk effect and then you go into Diamond Dire Wolf and you pop the Suk. Like, because then it's just like it's a free pop you know because the souk is dead anyways yeah. so it's pretty good so we'll go off to the uh, side deck you got your uh, tokens because you're really extra you play the mithra tokens because you're playing monarchs in reality <laughs> but yeah so uh two denko seka oh. so this card's really good but i'd side two in and i'd get two in my hands like one game against uh paleozoic uh, my opening hand was two of the two dankos two terraformings and a solemn strike and, like, that's just so bad. And another game, like, I had two of these in hand, and I had Souk. And, like, I had uh, a Dimensional Barrier and, like, a Vanity set. I'm like, I can't, like, play Danko. So then I had to, like, ditch him with uh, Souk. So it was, uh, it's a good card. I just, I had a bad experience with it today. <laughs> but, like, I love it, so I'm not going to say not to play it. Uh, two Game of Seal. I said this in a couple times, uh, but I never saw it. But it's good for, like, uh, Totally Awesome and other stuff like that. Uh, so two DD Crow, again, never saw it, but like in testing, it's really good against like Metal Foes, Paleozoic, ABC, but uh, I don't know, you can replace this with Retaliating C as well. Um, the other Max C, you know, <laughs> and this like might be like the most expensive like side deck just right there, <laughs> like it's just so extra, so extra. And then you got the two system downs, uh, one super, one common. Uh, this came in handy against a Gear Gear. <laughs> it was so mean. She had like a she had a Gear 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 X and like two accelerators, and I just system downed her, and I just felt really bad. Uh, two typhoons. Uh, I never sided today because I never played Metal Foes. I did not play Metal Foes once, and I did not play DDD once. Like two of like the top four decks, I just didn't play. That's it was crazy. it was kind of ass. I played nothing but those two decks. But I mean, it's also I mean also like I went four and four, so like I won one, lost one, won one, lost one. So I never played like top tables. Uh, two anti spell. Um, again, this never came in. I think I sided in once against ABC like round one, but I didn't see metal foe, so you know it didn't happen. And uh, two shadow imprisonings. So I mean, this was for DDDs, but I didn't side this until round eight against Cosmo Kaiju. Because I had D berries in the main deck, as you saw, and I'm like, oh, they don't use the extra deck. And so I looked at my uh, side deck, and I'm like, okay, I guess uh, Shadow and Prism Mirror is a thing. They can't Dark Destroyer me and shit. So, yeah, that's the deck profile, guys. Um, I I don't know. If you're bored of ABC, go for this version. Like, it's it's fun when it works. It's really fun, but uh, <laughs> it's, it's pretty bad. Uh, I don't know, ABC's going to fall off next format, and Union Hanger might get hit. So this was my last hurrah of the deck. Uh, you won't be seeing any more deck profiles of me playing this anymore, yeah. But yeah, uh, thank you guys for uh, watching. If you like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe.